in this video I'm going to show you how to make a comparative bar chart and this type of comparative bar chart will actually be having two uh, categorical variables uh, you've got response as one variable and device as another variable type so this type of this type of uh, chart down here is called the two-way frequency table or it's a frequency relative frequency table that shows uh, two different variables uh, device and a response so this is a, this is a, um, a little bit tricky when it comes to making the comparative bar chart for this problem so uh, this is a problem from section 2.2 uh, right out of the homework that we're using uh, Roxy Peck's first edition of statistics learning from data this is problem 2.17 on page 55 the article titled the need to be plugged in describes a survey of 1006 adults who were asked about various technologies including personal computers cell phones and DVD players the accompanying table summarizes the responses to questions about how essential these technologies were. The question asks us to construct a comparative bar chart that shows the distribution of the responses for the three different devices or the three different technologies. So uh, we can do a little sneak peek here and see that the answer, our graph ought to look something like this. Uh, we're going to use the JMP or the jump software to get this done. Let me show you how to do it. Um, I'll go ahead and put uh, links in the YouTube description box uh, to this uh, file that has the statement of the question here and the uh, jump file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the jump file. Um, it's ex it's um, exercise 217. Okay, so there's the data table file. So we want to go up here and click on graph, graph builder, open up the graph builder window. Going to make a comparative bar chart. So right over here in the variable sub window, I'm going to grab the relative frequency variable and I'm going to drag, I'm going to left click and hold it down, left click and hold and drag that relative frequency variable over to where the Y variable is. Drop and drag over to the Y. Okay, now I want to grab the uh, response variable grab the response variable left click on that and hold and drag it over to where the X variable ought to be uh, go ahead and come up to the top and click on the bar chart icon and right over here there's an overlay variable okay we want to we want to go over here and grab the device variable come over here to the left left click on device variable left click and hold and drag the device variable over to the overlay and drop it in right there where the overlay variable ought to go. So that ought to give us this um, comparative bar chart here. Is that what we were supposed to have? Let's, let's take a look at um, the solutions. So we're, and it looks like, it looks like we're supposed to have the device along the um, x-axis you can tell in the wording in the question they want us to construct a comparative bar chart that shows the distribution of responses for the three different technologies well it looks like we've got the responses along the um, x-axis so we want to swap that one way to do the swapping is I can left click I'm sorry right click on the x-axis and right here where it says swap I'm gonna swap this variable along the x-axis with the device so click on the device variable left click okay and now we've got the graph the way we want it um, if you take a look at the solutions they don't tell you what order you need to have um, the categories along the X in so they've got the computer listed first then the cell phone then the DVD player um, if you really have to have your graph match up the ordering um, then the way to get that done is you go back over to your data table and you're going to select the device column right click the right click the device column click on column properties or move your cursor to where it says column properties 
and I'm looking for value ordering where it says value ordering left click that opens up this window this little sub window down here I can change the ordering of my devices here um, so I wanted the PC to be first so I can um, left click the PC um, and move it up um, and then what did they want what did you want to have next um, oh boy PC and then cell phone and then DVD player okay we can do that so it looks like that's the ordering that we're gonna have PC then sell then DVD to make that and make the change up here on the um, the graph just go over here and click apply and then we'll hit OK to X out of that another thing you may be interested in doing is um, labeling your uh, on top of your bars the actual relative frequency of each response to do that come over here to the drop down menu where it says label change this from no label to label by value another thing you could do is change the coloring of your bars if you want to do that you come over here to your uh, legend on the right here and right click on the color that you want to change and then just change your fill color to the desired color you can also change the background of your the background color of your graph if you want to do that just right click on the background of your graph um, and then move your cursor to where it says graph and change your background color to the desired color um, another thing you could do if you want to put your name on the graph or put any kind of annotation on the graph uh, one way to do that is come up here to the tools a drop down menu and left click on annotate I'm just gonna move my cursor right up here and put a box in and just say graph I guess graph by Tim you can um, change the background color of your annotation uh, of course you can change the font the size and I'll let you mess around with that so you might also be interested in uh, taking your x-axis label and changing the font on that uh, to get that done just right click on the x-axis and left click on font I'm gonna change my font size and make it bold so that my x-axis label will stand out my y-axis label I'm gonna right click on that I'm going to change the font on that to bold it and make it larger um, is there a way to make that label go horizontal yes there is right click on the label and then come down here where it says rotate text and then left click on horizontal let's see what else can we do here um, I don't see my name in here but I, so I can resize that box if I want um, well I guess that's about it another thing you could do um, you could export this graph as an image file type to do that just come up here and click on file save as uh, save it uh, come over here and save the file type to a PNG or a JPEG file uh, those are both image file types uh, you may want to save this as an image file type so you can paste it into your Word document or your pages document some other document so there you go. That's how you can create a, a, a comparative bar chart.